Good morning, kind King George. I'm so pleased you can join me this morning for the weekly video announcements. We are in the home stretch of the school year, and I know we are all trying our very best to stay connected. In the coming weeks, you will find there are going to be several special learning opportunities. We even have Nature Nancy and a couple of other virtual experiences coming your way. Educators are continuing to plan and support learning in a variety of forms, both synchronous and asynchronously, while we also work at packing our school and planning some special year-end events. But before we get any further into announcements, let's respectfully acknowledge that this land on which we live and learn daily is the treaty and traditional territory of the Michisagi Nishnabeg. It is so important for us to really take time and not to rush this land acknowledgement. And I want you to know that I am so grateful for, for our relationship with the First Nations of this territory, for their care for and teachings about the land, the water, and all of our relations. Let's remember, we are all people of the Williams Treaty, and we continue our journey to strengthen our understanding of the treaty relationship. And with that uh, comes our understanding of how to move forward in a good way. So I want to make mention that I'm grateful for that brief but strong downpour of rain that came yesterday. It was a lovely break from the heat and something that I know nature all around me really appreciated. I hope that last week you had a chance to view the video that I shared about National Indigenous History Month and to recognize the history, heritage, and diversity of First Nation, Inuit, and Métis peoples of Canada. We are all responsible for continuing to learn about the history of Indigenous people and to celebrate their achievements, to recognize the harm, and endeavor to act in a manner of reconciliation at all times. We must continue to be learners, students and adults alike. And as you know, June is also Pride Month. So this week, I would like to share a short video about the history of the rainbow flag. I hope you're going to find it interesting. I know I did. And I want you to learn a little bit more about the symbol of the flag and thinking about just the importance of being proud of who you are. Let's always remember to value inclusion and respect for everyone, not only during Pride Month, but always. And as June continues, we have a number of special events for our very own school community too. So our first event is coming up this Tuesday and that's tomorrow, and that's for our new kindergarten students who will be joining us at KECPS, Kawate East City Public School. And they're coming to us this fall, and they're invited to pick up their Welcome to Kindergarten bag uh, on June 15th, that's tomorrow, at Armour Heights Public School. So if you have a little brother or a sister who's registered, maybe I'll see you tomorrow when they come to pick up their bag at Armour Heights. Then, a little bit later on this month, on June 25th, we invite you to come and visit King George North with your families to pick up your personal belongings. You're also going to have an opportunity to pick up your King George memory book. And if you haven't picked up your Kawate East City Public School t-shirt, you can get that at that time too. And then most importantly, you're going to have a chance to visit with your classmates and with your key staff members. This past Friday, we sent an update to all of our families about the schedule for June 25th, and it's also posted in Edsby and in the Parent Peak of the Week for your families. So it's going to be fantastic to see everyone in person, but we will still be physically distancing and asking you to uh, bring and wear your masks as well. Then on the evening of the 28th, we have a virtual Leading the Way celebration for our grade sixes from both King George and Armour Heights. And the next day, June 29th, we will have those students from Ms. Lee and Ms. Anderson's classes come pick up their personal belongings and have their moment to visit uh, with their educators from 11 to 11.45. Then also on, uh, on June 28th, on the Monday of the last week, we're going to be sharing a variety of videos of you, uh, for you that will help mark the end of this school year and help us look ahead to the adventures at Kawate East City. So please reach out to the office uh, if you or your families have any questions and we are here to help you. And now, before we go this morning, let's turn to our happy birthday wishes. And this week, my special birthday wishes go out to Juliana, Luca, Kingston, and Delaney. And this brings our announcements to a close for another week until I see you again. 
Respect yourselves, your families, your educators, and all the essential workers who live in your houses and who are working so bravely to help continue to keep our community safe. We can all be part of that. Have a great ninth week ahead of distance learning with King George North, and thanks for staying connected. Take care.